European Weightlifting Championships. Second half of the competition about to get underway. And uh, the various challenges going through their warm-up routine backstage. And as Carla Breeze will have pointed out on several occasions during the course of our coverage this week, you can tell just how far down the line they are with preparation in terms of what weights they have on the bar backstage. And they'll go through quite a few lifts before they actually come up to make their competition lifts. That's how it stands then after the snatch competition. Did Spalis taking that gold medal for Lithuania ahead of Kugev of Russia and, uh, and uh, the uh, Polish uh, lifter Grela took the bronze medal. Fabulous bronze actually for Grela. Let's not forget that. That's a, a really good performance from him. Zinitsky brothers picking up gold and silver last year for Poland and he's in the mix. So big weights to be shifted then with this clean and jerk section. Marius Danciu of Romania will get things underway at 190 kilos. World record incidentally stands with uh, Ilya Ilyin of Kazakhstan at 2.33. So uh, that puts it all in context. There's a bit of a way to go. And Simon Kolecki uh, down at 2.32 for the European record. Simon Coletti, I remember seeing him as a junior lifting very close to that weight. Phenomenal junior, and he was now the president of the Polish Weightlifting Federation. You can see uh, Danico here really struggling with the jerk phase, just dropped his chest as he dipped. A little soft, he looks tired, he looks, he looks like he's empty in terms of energy. And that might well be the case. These athletes would usually train probably around 96. 97, 98 kilos, even up to 100 kilos in body weight, and then drop down to 94 uh, for the for the competition. Usually, these athletes would only visit 94 a couple of times during the year, and that weight loss can take it out of you. Saw a shot there of uh, the Israeli athlete Anatoly Mushik sitting in that preparation area. Obviously, he'd been asked to come back, uh, well, virtually out of retirement, 33 years of age now, come back and do a job for Israel at this championships. And uh, he's done that pretty well. 166, the snatch, missed 169. And I think we've seen a, a little bit of that uh, cat and mouse backstage now. I think uh, Dan Jaku is probably struggling a little here with the recovery. So what does he do? Does he put his weights up a fraction to give himself more time? Looking at his first attempt, I didn't think it was overly convincing. So I think it's dangerous territory to increase it much further. Let's get a lift on the board and then go from there. Mario Stanchu then. Second go at 190. A two minute break flies by when you're tired. You're under pressure. But needs this. It's not happening. I'm afraid it's not happening for him. He's having trouble with back strength here. On the first attempt, he dropped his chest as he dipped. It's back strength required to maintain that straight position. And we look in the second attempt here as he cleans it, drops his chest at the bottom, doesn't have the strength in his back to sit straight. One attempt remaining, and he looks a beaten athlete right now. Yeah, that's uh, not a good reaction after that one. Shoulders slump, slumped and just wandered away from the platform. But he won't follow himself uh, if Mushik comes in here, or Dunshu has the option to just up it a weight and buy himself a bit of time, which he may do. It surprises me that he's walked all the way back into the warm-up room. Athletes like to just get off the platform and sit down rather than have to walk around and waste further energy. Uh, the youngster, Kugayev. 130 kilos loaded on the bar for him. In terms of a warm up attempt. And he's walked all the way back again, as Danchu. And at this stage in the competition, that, that is some valuable energy. You can see how heavily off. he's breathing mm. still. It's two failed attempts, following himself, not much time to recover. He's under a lot of pressure here, needs to execute, needs to come out a lot more aggressive. Well, Stop went to 191, but Mushik wasn't playing ball with him. He upped it to 192, so he does follow himself for a third time. 
It's better. No, not there. Single kilo increase to try and get a bit of breathing space, but it wasn't enough in the end in terms of time. And it was too much in terms of weight on the bar. So Marius Danciu doesn't record a weight in the clean and jerk competition. And a lot better. Just didn't have the legs to drive to arm's length today. What a shame. Well, in the men's competitions, uh, in particular at this European Championships, we've seen some very messy clean and jerk phases. And this one hasn't started encouragingly. Marius Danciu of Romania is out. Two failures at 190, one at 191. And that brings Anatoly Mushik to the stage. The uh, Israeli athlete coming in at 192 after his 166 snatch. Really aggressive off the floor. And again, good aggression to arm's length. Gave that everything he had. There's experience for you from the 33-year-old. Very well done for 192. Little smile as he leaves the stage, but I have to say, made it look very heavy. Nobody else wants to join in here. Wushik may end up following himself out. So the initial posting was 193. I yeah, think, I think they've gone 195. We'll go at least 195. That'll bring in hopefully two other athletes. Bensonel, Stanilis, Igmantis, Stanilis. Here we are. He's getting ready. Stanilis uh, did not look happy backstage when the camera was on him. A little while ago during his warm-up lift he uh, threw the bar down and walked away from it well, the way he responded looked to me maybe a, a possible shoulder injury uh, he wasn't carrying himself that nicely having dropped the lift in warm-up let's hope he's okay now person out very careful progression in the uh, snatch competition one six three one six one seven one one seven four three clean lifts comes in here at 195. Uh, a bit soft on the landing, landed on his toes, hence the stagger forwards. Good overhead. Wow, that's Second. a really strong recovery. Second time today I've seen it, and both have been from Belarusian athletes. The jerk position, the thumb, instead of being around the bar and, and taking hold of the bar normally, they're actually wrapping their thumbs around the bar. All that takes is the smallest tweak of the wrist, and that bar's going to come straight down. He's also carrying a lot of strapping on his right hand. And the rules stipulate that you're not allowed to link the hand and the wrist in terms of strapping. His clearly looks like it is. Yeah, just tucked in under the uh, the pink wrist guards. So uh, judges may take a closer look at that. Sigmantis so Stanolis, just like did Palace, is uh, compatriot in their green lifting suits. They've been entertaining today. A couple of characters here we've got. Very, very aggressive through his first two snatch lifts and then uh, quite a comical fall on his on his third at 189. Uh, not at 189, sorry, at one. Uh, where is he? Stanless 177. Very fiery character. Gives it everything, every single lift. An athlete that really needs to be pumped up. He's not happy. He's definitely carrying an injury of some kind. But he's manning up, pushing through. After these kind of uh, competitions, these athletes will go back to the drawing board. They will give their, or they should give their bodies a chance to recover. Even if it's a couple of weeks, it won't be a couple of weeks off training, but it'll be a couple of weeks of seriously reduced intensity and volume. Just give the body a chance to settle down and any niggles to go away. Might even be his knees hopping around. 
Yeah, tricky one to spot that, but there's uh, clearly some discomfort there. So, Stenoulis successful at 195, along with uh, Bassano. Rushik at 192, still hasn't come back in. He's uh, still keeping things fairly close to his chest. 198, I guess, is a, a reasonable bet. Just depends what Stenoulis decides to go for next up. As did Spallis. He's loving it today. Winner of the snatch competition and looking very confident. So Mushik coming out. We might see him uh, against Stenoulis in a bit of a head-to-head. -head. I think Bersanar now will ramp it straight up after that first lift at 195. Interesting situation for this man to be asked to come back to international competition at such a late stage. And uh, while some of his lifts uh, haven't looked that comfortable, he's certainly used his experience and done a very good job today. How will he fare at this weight? Mushuk then, 198 for his second lift in the clean and jerk. If you saw the position that his back foot was in when he landed, that's enough to give you an injury. It's a good attempt, but uh, needs to go for that lift again. He's probably going to be following himself by the looks of all the other athletes who've gone 200 or above. Just watch his back foot when he lands. Sticking Ooh, out yes. to the side, nearly buckled on the ankle. So Mushuk doesn't make his second attempt at 198. So we we'll see him come back out again. The uh, Israeli coach in the colourful trout pants, trousers. I'm not very fashion conscious, <laughs> I'm afraid. I can't tell you what they're called officially. The officials, the coaches, trackies. The, 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 <laughs> well, the lifters. Well, they're you're they're to. colourful. They're colourful anyway. No, the Israeli <laughs> coach. He's having a good look at what's going on with the other coaches before they make the decision for Mushik about what his next work is going to be or whether he sticks at 198. It's all, it's all to do with uh, if anybody else is going to come and join him. And if they do, then it's okay. But uh, I think he's going to have to go through the uh, the kilos here. So Venskel ups it to 200. Impressed with him in the snatch competition. Look good, didn't he? Yeah, look very sharp. Very good technically, very explosive, dynamic. Some of these guys now starting to uh, get a bit taller than the lifters we've seen in the previous categories. And it's good to see so many of them in, a, in really, really athletic condition. They look like athletes. Rewind 10, 15 years and a, a lot of the lifters in this kind of category would be carrying a bit of excess weight. But these athletes now recognize the importance of trimming down competing in the category that the lightest category they possibly can so the number two belarus lifter in this competition good junior record and scale excellent leg strength now let's see what he's like above uh, his head well, that's allowed it was just an adjustment off the windpipe he looks like he's struggling though oxygen to the brain is an issue Recovered well. Blimey, that is, that's really good work from Venskel. Well, he knows his uh, stuff at the moment. He knows how he's feeling physically, and he's responded well. Well, that was all you can just see. Close. Really struggling. Just after, after the clean, you can see how much effort he puts into the clean. Watch where this bar sits. It's right on his windpipe. And that's going to make it very hard to breathe, very hard to get the oxygen in. Did very well to clear the dizziness and execute the jerk. then after an unsuccessful attempt at 198 he's had his hand forced a bit here to buy himself some rest time the 33 year old has had to go up to 200 kilos which has been successfully made by uh, Alexander 
Venskel of Belarus, who uh, lifted it on fumes, to be honest. <laughs> he was right on the back edge. But he got it done. Now, Mushik. This would give him a combined total that I think would still make it difficult for him to really get into that top three and remain there. There's all the tricks to get the job done. But this looks very, very heavy. Last lift then for Mushik in this competition. No. Same problem with the leg out the back there. Just couldn't get any stability and uh, bows out quite literally of the competition. But uh, entertaining to watch him back in action. Eighth place at the 2004 Olympic Games back in Athens. He's a lifter of some calibre. Has to work super hard to stand with this weight. He's done 217 kilos. Just not able to drive the bar high enough. He split nice and wide, dropped nice and low, but just didn't give it enough drive up. Now, bronze medal for Lukas Grela in the snatch, but maybe not up there with the, guy, the big guys in the clean and jerk. We're just looking at some of the numbers that uh, Disbalis and Kiraku are at the moment are posting. We're, we're going to wait till around about two, 210 for them to come in. But Grella's clearly in good nick. Oh. It'll do, it'll do. It'll do. It's not the most convincing of attempts that I've seen. Just a little bit wobbly. Maybe that's because he's nervous coming in. First real opportunity on this kind of stage. As you said before, only the third ranked Polish lifter behind the Zielinski brothers. So it's nice for him to be given an opportunity to compete at the European seniors. Big drive. Little wobbly in the shoulders. Needs to stand still. And, uh, people say, you know, about the whole triple extension and getting right up onto your toes. Look at his calves. They're non-existent. And that's uh, fairly standard for a weightlifter. Weightlifters do not need calves. The momentum where you go up onto your toes through the lift, that's not because the calves are actively engaging. That's the momentum that's taking you up there. Uh, Lithuanian athletes have development across the board, incredibly muscular, the pair of them. This is Stanulis. We're still waiting to see his compatriot, Didzbalis, who took the gold in the snatch. Looks like he's going to come in at 210 along with uh, Kiraku if things stay as they are, but I think we've got a, a fair amount of playing around before we get to that point. And that uh, we should have an intriguing finish to this competition. We questioned the increase between first and second attempt that Stanley has made in the snatch. Nine kilos. He's done the same now on the clean and jerk. This is a big increase. Still four kilos below his best if successful. Yeah, interesting that it's back to back nine kilos. Gets through that phase with his usual scream. Ooh, no, no too much out soft. the back door. Very soft overhead just trying to use the arm and you can just see how, how muscular he is uh, how big he is in the shoulders and the arms you compare that to some of the athletes that we're about to see in a minute completely different in, in terms of stature you don't need this musculature around the upper body this in my view is wasted muscle this this muscle should be in the legs in the glutes to help you stand up from that strong position even the jerk the effort should come from the legs and glutes not the upper body and he's just trying to push it hence why he can't get it to arm's length Helps uh, Grella. He remains in top spot at the moment ahead of Venskel. With uh, Basana in third. And now the real uh, competition starts. This is when we're going to see some interesting decisions. Who comes in next? How many join him? And when do the big names join the competition in general? The bar's being loaded to 205. So that's the next decision. Uh, Yaroslav Vitter, incidentally, 200 in that B division. So uh, at the moment, technically still in the mix. So Stanilis is putting his third attempt up just by just a kilo. It will bring in a couple of other athletes and buy him some time to enable him to recover. But Stanilis walked off after that previous attempt, really holding his knee, obviously carrying an injury. 
Now, Bassano is trying to keep things uh, pretty cool. Number one Belarus lifter ahead of uh, Venskel. And has moved fairly comfortably through the gears. Clean so far, gone from 195 to 205 though. So that 10 kilo increase could prove interesting. Has a good clean and jerk record though. Oh, oh no, that was such tidy lifting to that point. And then the right arm buckling. Mm, the clean was super strong. More Jeez. drama. Just watch how easily he stood with this weight. No problem at all. And on the jerk, just leaves the hips slightly behind the bar. Needs to split his feet wider, further forwards, further back, drop his body a little lower. And he should nail that. One attempt remaining. Sigmantis Stanolis then next out. A huge shout of exasperation. I mean, he expended a lot of energy being angry at the last miss. And he's off again. He wants the crowd on side. He's a real showman. But this is how he lifts. He has to lift in this frame of mind. It was close last time. But he's clearly carrying a niggle, and that's just holding him back here. So Stanulis, single kilo increase from 204 to 205, and he's in trouble. Just the adjustment off the windpipe. Oh, that's unlucky. That's unlucky. So Stanulis exits, and he's distraught. Uh, just a little tap on the weights to say I'll have you next time. That's a shame. You can see how desperately disappointed he is. Has the potential, had the potential to put himself close to the medals. Just didn't quite execute today. But gave it everything. You can't say he had much left to give. Well, we get our different body types up on the stage, but we also get the different mentalities as well, the different characters. And this man's personality, very much one of emotion. We've seen a bit of everything from Stanolis today. But in the end, not enough in terms of the actual weights lifted. So, Versana, his second attempt at 2.05. It's the right side that gave out on the last attempt. Just that little check on the clock that the athletes can see. Oh, no. on his oh toes. dear, well, that's a shame when you consider how easily he made the clean phase last time out. Well, that lift was lost before the bar even got to his knees. As soon as he came off the floor, he was onto his toes. So hard to correct from that position. Just on his toes way too early. If you don't land in the right position, you're not going to be able to get up. So Bersanart has to settle for 195, which keeps him in the hunt at the moment. Third on the overall standings, but we've still got a lot of names to come in. Tisbalis, Kugev, and Kiraku. But this is the man that has impressed us. And I say man, he's only just a man. 17 years of age. Phenomenal in the snatch part of the competition to take that silver comes in here at uh, 207 Ooh, lightning quick that's oh, so fast Ooh, no, no, no. Ooh, goodness me he needs to stand well momentary <laughs> lapse there and he nearly blew it very nearly blew it. to be honest I'm not sure how he held it I think the red light one of the referees may have thought his elbow came out of lock I thought it was okay Let's put this in perspective though, 196 coming into this competition, 207 starting weight, very quick on the clean, super strong to stand. Just watch the elbows, that's fine, the cover's okay, legs almost buckled underneath him, no movement in the elbows. I think one of the referees needs their eyes testing, that looks <laughs> fine to me. Now then, in terms of uh, PBs, we've got Kiroku at 226, and 
and uh, we've got Didsbalis at 2.20. Both of those yet to come into the competition. From uh, Ventskell's point of view, just needs to hold this together. It's on a personal level, it's been a really good competition for him so far. Solid lifting all the way, but goes to 2.07. Kugaev takes over in the lead. Grella is still in second place. This would give Venskel a share of that lead. Hit him hard at the bottom of the clean. Found the legs to stand. He's got the legs to drive. It's a brilliant attempt. 2.07, two out of two. This is good work from Venskel. Unfortunately for him, heaviest man in the competition, so body weight problems if he's on a, a level weight with uh, fellow competitors but on a personal level he's got it all right today yeah, he had a personal best on the snatch 214 is his best on the clean and jerk let's see how close he can get to this kind of weight maybe 210 third attempt Lucas Grella gone about his work very tidily today. Bronze medal in the snatch and still in this clean and jerk competition. 207. The bar goes up five kilos from his opening lift. Oh, he's got it. Needs to stand. Oh, stand. Still. oh, the crowd. A real groan there as he went towards the back of the platform. Once that bar starts to move and your body starts to move with it underneath. It is so hard to stop the momentum of the bar. Usually the bar just speeds up and he did tremendously well to remain completely focused. And that's taken a significant amount of effort. Had to work hard all the way through just to stand. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? That's the kicker. This is virtually a, another lift to follow on from this lift in terms of energy expended. Look at that. Oh, great effort. That hurt. <laughs> that was tough. Good stuff, though. Fighting effort from Grella as they all wander back to uh, the computer screen to see who's where and who's posting what weight as the next round. So Venskel with one left, Grella with one left, and uh, Kugaev with two, and uh, Kiraku and Disbalis still to come in. So still three rounds of lifting from those two. And nobody's going to help Venskel out here, so uh, he comes back out at 2.09. And Grella may have to take a bit of a risk here as well if he wants to try and buy a bit of extra rest. The Europeans last year was won with a 210 clean and jerk with Adrian Zielinski. Already up to 209, and we've still got two lifters that haven't yet come into the competition. So, fair to say the standard this year is uh, a little higher than it was just one year ago. Yeah, it's been a good competition, this one. Some great battles happening out there. <laughs> Venskel hit hard in that received position, but he's recovered. Oh, this is great stuff. Stand still, and you got it. There you go. Great work. Six. Lifts across the board from Venskel. Started off at 168 in the snatch and has gone all the way to 209 in the clean and jerk. Well, Very a, good day. A really good call on weight. Only two kilos up from his second attempt, but question whether or not if there was another kilo on the bar, he had been successful. That was a cracking effort. Gave it absolutely everything. Good work. Good emotion at the end of that one. See the coach in the background living through every single lift. I bet those coaches lift some serious weights in their mind at every competition. It's so frustrating as a coach. You just want to go on the platform and do it for your lifters. It's so frustrating when you don't have any control. It's the next phase of the career for many lifters and for many sports people in general. Grela then with his closer he too moving to uh, 209 this will give him an advantage over ben venskel who's the heaviest man in the competition but that was hard work oh, his body quivering underneath the bar now can he get it stable no can't get it above his head can't get it stable and uh, goes a little bit dizzy at the end of that one there's a lot of effort expended on the second round lift and it's cost him here 
Well, that's a shame that would have put him in contention for an overall medal. So close between four of these athletes still at the moment. We're down to three. Three lifters remaining in the competition. Kugay, the 17-year-old Russian. It's Balis Keraku yet to join the party. Yeah, they were talking about 210. She's certainly within their bounds. What a shame for Grella. And uh, he's lucky there. He's just got rid of the weight in time. So Disbalis comes in. We'll see if uh, Kiraku does actually join him here. And the, the advantage Kiraku has with going after Disbalis here is he can have a look at what this man does. And, well, interesting <laughs> pointing to both elbows on this occasion, Disbalis. So just reminding the judges that he can't get that full lock, that full extension. Quick again, just like Kugev. Very quick under the bar, but made it a little heavier as he went up. It's good work. It's good work. That's really confident, competent lifting from Didsbalis, and he's enjoying his day here in Tbilisi. Well, he really is a character bringing it to the platform. I'm not sure why he's had a... That's, that's a bit harsh. He's already pointed out to the referees that his elbows are not great. Because his elbows don't lock out nice and straight, it's going to be slightly soft overhead. But as long as there's no visible movement in the elbows, that is absolutely fine. Disagree completely with the centre referee on that one. I thought that was a very good lift. Well, this man, Anatoly Kiraku of Moldova, is coming in at one at 2.10 to join uh, Dizbalis, the new leader. Dizbalis takes over from Kugev and has two lifts left. So it's Dizbalis, Kugev, Kiraku for gold in the clean and jerk. It's Ballas at the moment controlling this from the front in the overall. Very comfortable through that first fade. My goodness. Oh, he's made that. Looks super easy. Well, yes, he has. Keriku has a, a minor issue. He has a, a really dodgy right arm. Um, so that's going to take a tremendous amount of strength just to hold that kind of weight overhead long enough for the referees to give him the down signal. Look at the speed at which he stands with this kind of weight. It's phenomenal leg strength. Big drive to arm's length. I wouldn't say that was oscillation. I'd say he didn't give the bar an opportunity to come to rest. That's different to oscillating it. Yes, good point to make. So that bar was still flexing as it went across his chest, but he was so quick into the next movement that it hadn't got That's time allowed, to still. Yeah. Whereas some athletes have been using... Yeah, deliberate oscillation is not allowed. Move, that, yeah. You know, as long as your body comes to rest and there's no deliberate oscillation, you're okay. What a competition this is, Kugaev. Steps down from what was an intended 2.15 progression back to 2.12, having seen that last lift. And uh, Kugaev is the lightest man in the competition as well. I wonder if that'll play out in his favour in this clean and jerk. Again, so fast through the movements. It's snappy. That's well, so snappy. This guy is full of fast twitch muscle fibers. <laughs> Absolutely, it's yeah. I think he does deserve the uh, applause. He's not happy with something. I think he was questioning why he heard the buzzer. I think he may have heard the 30 second buzzer. We don't hear the uh, noise on the replay. And in terms of technical lifting, absolutely superb. 17 years of age and bossing the show. I think he heard a buzzer before he was given the down signal. I think that was the clock. Nobody had stopped the clock. That's how it stands then on the totals, the overall standings. Kugayev leads on 392, courtesy of body weight, equal with Didsbalis. And then Ventskel at the moment in third. Kiraku, because of that poor snatch competition for him at the moment, is out of the overall medals. Kiraku still in business in the 94 kilo category, but he's going to have to lift something pretty impressive in this clean and jerk phase if he wants to get himself into the medals. We're just checking uh, on body weights and numbers. And at 216 is going to be his next attempt, we think. If he's successful there, that will move him into contention. Well, this is the first time he's come onto the platform looking really eager and ready to go this lift actually means something now 
Something shiny around your neck. Well, a little reminder to the judges that uh, he has a problem with that lockout on the right elbow, which was very pronounced on the last lift. You will notice it. As long as it's not moving, it'll be okay. Is it there? He needs to stand still. Wait for the down signal. Oh, now we've got the bar speeding up. Put it down. Yeah, that was uh, too much. He really wanted that desperately, but he's hung on a little bit too long there, and that might have cost him. Yeah, well, that's a prime example of what I was referring to earlier. When the bar starts to move, it's very hard to stop it, and that bar was just accelerating. He was helicoptering around. He can do that, but he needs to bring himself to a resting position and show that he's under control. Why did this happen? Partly because one arm is not as locked as the other, slightly shorter. You just see the bar speeding up, and he really needs to put it down before he causes himself an injury. He still has one attempt remaining, one attempt to get himself onto the podium, but he's now going to be following himself, and you can just imagine how much that would have taken out of him. Yeah, Two minutes to tough. recover. That's tough. And uh, if that had been the last lift of the competition for a medal, then you'd have said, yeah, of course you've got to stay there. You've got to stay with it and see if you can stabilize the bar. But I don't think he was uh, thinking all that clearly there. So well, he won't go any heavier. This is the weight he needs for the podium. There's no point in going to anything bigger. He, this, is, this is the absolute weight he needs. Vince Girl, his competition is done. He's uh, just waiting in the back room there at uh, 386 in the bronze medal position at the moment. Yeah, he'll be waiting eagerly and mm. watching and hoping that Kerikou is unable to make this third attempt. It's a horrible position to be in, having finished your competition and you just have to sit and wait. Yeah, Venskel out of the clean and jerk medals, but in the overall medals, courtesy of that fantastic series of six lifts. But there's Kugev pacing around. I mean, he's, he's looks so good. The speed of his lifting is what has been most impressive. Uh, he snapped into position. And it's all money in the bank. You get through that first phase and get it stabilized. Gives you more chance on the jerk phase of the lift if you can keep the clean nice and tidy. Kiriku. Out again for 2.16. The Moldovan athlete with just a two-minute breather. And after the, the big spin around on the second lift, he's under pressure here. He's off again, I'm afraid. And this time goes down, and that's uh, a bit of a mess from Kiriku. He wasn't great in the snatch for 1.70. And after an impressive start at 2.10, he couldn't follow it at 2.16. And Kiriku, one of our favourites for gold here, I'm afraid can't repeat his brilliance of his 2012 season when he took that Olympic Games bronze medal and claimed the European title. So one of the greats defeated. 26 years of age now. And I think, well, unless he gets himself back in shape, that'll be... Pretty much the end of it for him. Aramas Dizbalis then. Head to head with the Russian Ketar Kugev. So Lithuania versus Russia for gold in the clean and jerk competition. But Kugev is still in with a shot here at beating Dizbalis to the overall title. They're both on 392. 217. For Didsbalis with his second lift. Oh, superb oh, lifting. It's big. it's big. That's a great effort. Didsbalis takes over. Oh, we get the backflip as well, and he's still got a lift left to go. Well, they are real showmen, the two Lithuanian athletes. And they're putting on a show today, but they're expending a lot of energy, and the job's not done yet. Well, it's not done. But Kugayev has, a, has his work cut out. He's going to give it a go. I'm just looking at the, at the scoreboard at the moment. Kugayev has gone for a 2.22. No, he's brought it down to 2.18. No, 2.19. Okay, so Kugayev has gone 2.19 based on Didsbalis' 2.17. This weight will take him into the lead by virtue of lighter body weight. He was two kilos behind after the snatch. Didsbalis will have one reply. But this is Kugayev's chance to force the issue. 
If he goes 219, Fitzballis has to go 220 for the uh, clean and jerk and overall medal. So 399 is Disbalis's uh, overall total at the moment. Kugev, a little look across at the clock. I think he's a little bit nervy about the buzzers now. He's got to get that out of his head. Still snappy, but a little more laboured through that clean phase, but the oh, jerk is brilliant. quite brilliant. Absolutely phenomenal for a youth lifter. I'm just trying to find out what the uh, youth world records are. We know what the junior world records are. They belong to Simon Kalecci. Uh, just phenomenal. Brilliant lifting from Ketar Kugayev, 219. We'll uh, do the calculations for you in a moment just to confirm exactly where we stand but it's the second medal of the day for him and it could be a third well that puts him into the lead he sat in gold medal position right now in his first ever senior international disbalis well he celebrated after his previous attempt but he needs this lift he doesn't need the 121 that he's posted he needs a oh, sorry two, 221 he needs 219 and no more yeah. 220 we're giving the gold on the clean and jerk as well what is he going to come out at big decision big move and was it a backflip too early for Dids Ballas well he's going for broke so the Lithuanian 221 both men at the moment on 399 in the overall standings as their combined total which means Kugayev is in gold medal position, as Mikhaila said, on body weight. He's the lighter man. I'm not sure why we have 221 on the bar. He only needs 220. So, Didzbalis for gold. Oh, that's tougher. Needs this. Oh, he's got to get up. Can he stabilise oh. it? Oh, that's a phenomenal effort from him. Well, we've seen some truly magnificent lifting in this uh, 94 kilo category. And the gold medal is decided on probably the best of the day. Well, that was a tremendous effort. Any other athlete would have buckled underneath that weight, but he kept pushing, kept fighting right to the end, and it paid off. Lithuania have a gold medal. Tremendous stuff from Didzbalis, an entertaining character up there on the platform, but he saved his best till last. Well, look how wide he had to split, and that's a great example of splitting underneath the bar. Fighting all the way, body looks like it's about to buckle. He's still got enough in the tank for a backflip. That's what you call a jerk. Stanulis in the background enjoying that one as well. <laughs> Roaring his teammate on to European glory. Backflips were a fairly regular uh, component of weightlifting for a while. We haven't seen one for a, a little bit. That's a tough, that's a tough lift, and especially with that uh, failure to lock out that he has on the... Uh, the left side of his body he's done well to stop the weight moving there and he's done very well to claim that gold medal a little bit emotional at the end but both these lithuanian lifters are i think he's gonna party tonight that was well. a cracking effort disbalis then claims the uh, clean and jerk gold medal to go with the snatch gold medal and it means that he takes the overall gold as well confining ketar kugev to a really superb silver the youth lifter coming into his first senior competition and uh, makes it look pretty straightforward. He'll be wondering what all the fuss was about. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing where he's going to be at in just one, two, three years' time. He's got a tremendous future ahead of him. So Kugev uh, looking a little disappointed at the moment. I think he thought he might have got that after his 219 lift, and I think he had every right to feel that he probably was in with a shout, but my goodness me, Didzbalis showed some serious character there, and that is a very, very good final total. 4.03 for Didzbalis to take gold, Kugayev takes silver, and uh, Venskel, excellent effort from the Belarusian to take bronze.
Well, Michaela, that got the blood pumping. Unbelievable. Super impressed with both of the, well, all of the medal winners here. Absolutely incredible. Well, I hope you enjoyed our coverage today. We've got a busy day tomorrow. And we start at 8 a.m. in the morning. And then those are your timings through the day. An hour later, Central European time. But uh, the heavyweights to super heavyweights tomorrow. But at the moment, it's all about this man in the 94 kilo category. As Desvales makes it gold for Lithuania here in Georgia. Fantastic competition from him across the board. Takes all three goals, but keep an eye on Kugev. There's a name to watch for the future. 17 years of age, and he picks himself up three silver medals in his first senior outing. From me, Simon Golding, and from my co-commentator, Michaela Breeze, we'll say goodbye, and we'll see you for the heavyweights and super heavyweights tomorrow. Cheerio for now, though.